Dumfries and Galloway Health and Social Care. 2016 saw the formation of Dumfries and Galloway Health and Social Care Partnership. It was created as a result of government legislation for the whole of Scotland and has brought together the NHS, council, independent sector and the third sector or voluntary sector as they're called to create one organisation responsible for the delivery of the vast majority of health and social care services right across the whole of the region. Responsibility ranges from hospitals to care homes, day services to dentists, from pharmacies to GP surgeries with the aim of putting people and their needs at the centre of health and social care services. Working to ensure those services are safer, that those services are more efficient and effective, and that they are better coordinated and able to support people to live at home as independently as they possibly can. However, against all of this, we face financial challenges. In the last financial year, Dumfries and Galloway Council contributed 68 million to the work of the Health and Social Care Partnership and NHS Dumfries and Galloway, 274 million, making a total budget of 342 million. Out of this money, a total of 98 million was spent on hospital-based services. The larger amount of 165 million went on community-based services. A further 20 million went on women and children's services and another 20 million on mental health services. Five million was spent on maintaining and improving our IT systems and 13 million on facilities and clinical support services, with a further 21 million on regional contracted services. Thanks to this funding, we were able to treat 48,500 people who called on our emergency departments and look after 25,400 people who were admitted to hospital. Over 300,000 new outpatient appointments took place, which is a significant number. Within primary care, an estimated 467,000 GP appointments were provided between April 2017 and March 2018. And more than 2.2 million hours of care at home were commissioned. Prescriptions still accounted for a large amount of our expenditure, totalling 31.7 million. And now we're into the new financial year, 2018-19. And the predicted cost to deliver the same services in this year is 369.1 million. However, the budget for health and social care services is 353.3 million. So obviously this leaves us facing a shortfall of 15.8 million and the need to find financial savings to help close this gap. It may amount to 4% of our budget, but when you see how much we're providing and how much money is already being spent, you will appreciate this is a significant challenge. And it's not that savings are only just starting to be made. Over the last few years, significant savings have already been achieved within health and social care services. Yet we've worked very hard to try and minimise the impact of people who use our services. But as you'll appreciate, the more the savings that need to be made, the harder it becomes to find those savings. That's where you can play a role to help. If you're unwell, please help our very hard-working emergency department staff and our GPs by considering a community pharmacist as an excellent first point of free expert advice and support. Alternatively, information can be found at NHS Inform or help from NHS 24. Prescribing costs are still significant, so perhaps sit down and give some real thought as to what medicines you really need to order and avoid stockpiling. 
it's really easy to think it's only me and it won't make a big difference. But if everyone thinks that way, well, you get the idea. Engagement events are now starting to take place across the region. Looking at the way our health and social care services are organised and how they're being delivered. We believe that with this partnership and working with communities, there's a great opportunity to create better, more efficient services that really meet the needs of people today and will be better placed to look after them in the future. We'd therefore be really keen for you to be a part of this work, taking the opportunity to contribute your thoughts, ideas and experiences towards building the best possible health and social care services for Dumfries and Galloway. So please get involved. If you would like to find out more about our work and the services we provide, visit www.dg-change.org.uk.